just want to quickly say that if you've seen all of my other videos before, some of this stuff isn't going to be totally new to you. A lot of these steps I've already covered in the past, but the point of this video isn't to show you any new and revolutionary techniques like I try to do in some of my other videos. It's to show you that if you stick to the basics, if you use the strategies that I'm showing you, then you really can rank sites. You really can get them to make money online. It doesn't have to be rocket science. You don't have to use expensive tools. There's no magic tricks or wizardry going on here. I'm just keeping this shit simple. I'm just doing what works. So here is my five step strategy. Step one, find a kick ass niche. So basically you just wanna find a kick ass niche or topic to make a site about. And to do this, we just need to use the Google Keyword Planner tool, which is just a free tool that Google provides that allows us to see how many times any word or phrase gets searched for in Google each month. So to access the tool, just head over to google.com slash AdWords and then sign in or create an account if you haven't already got one. Then once you're logged in, you wanna head over to Tools and Analysis and then you wanna click on Keyword Planner. Then once you're in the Keyword Planner, you can just type in whatever your niche idea is right here and also make sure that you're targeting all countries and not just one country because we wanna see how many times our niche gets searched all around the world. So once we've done that, we just click on get ideas and then keyword ideas. And it's here that we can see how many times that niche gets searched for in Google each month. So as you can see, I've just searched for a random niche that I just thought of off the top of my head, which is bonsai trees. And right here, I can see that it gets searched 9,900 times each month. So maybe bonsai trees could be a niche. Now what you wanna do is just play around with all sorts of different ideas, putting them into the Google Keyword Planner tool. They could be about anything. They could be about sport or cooking or whatever. Try to think outside the box and come up with some great niche ideas. And you wanna keep searching for different niches until you find one that matches three different criteria. And these criteria are, one, we want our niche to be getting a decent amount of searches. So try to find a niche with at least a thousand searches and no more than say 30,000 searches. So for example, if I have a niche idea, which is netball drills, then I can type that in and I can see it gets 6,600 searches in Google each month which is a pretty good sign. Furthermore, you also wanna look for a niche that has a lot of related keywords that we'll be able to target down the track. So if you scroll down below this section, you can see a whole lot of other related keywords. Now, if there's a lot of different keywords here that are getting searched for, that's a great sign because we'll wanna target these as well on our site. Now these keywords don't have to be getting as many searches as your main keyword. They could just be getting a hundred or 200, but it's important that there are a good amount of related keywords for us to target. So with my netball drills example, I can see that netball drills for kids gets 880 searches a month. I can see that netball drills for beginners gets 320 searches a month. And I can see that there's a whole bunch of other keywords here too that I can target. So this is also a really good sign. And so far netball drills is looking pretty good. Now the second criteria that we wanna look for in our niche is a niche where when we search for it in Google, good and related ads pop up in the ad section. And this is because these are generally the same ads that will turn up on your site. So if they're good and targeted, lots of people are gonna click on them and they're gonna be worth quite a bit per click. So for example, if I was to search for Jennifer Aniston photos, 
I can see there's no ads here about Jennifer Aniston photos. So even though it might be easy for me to set up a site about Jennifer Aniston photos and to rank for it and to get traffic to that site, the ads that will show up when I put AdSense on my site aren't likely to be very targeted at all. And furthermore, even when someone did click on my AdSense ads on a site like that, it's unlikely it would be worth more than a few cents a click. However, if I was to search for netball drills in Google, I can see that there are actually ads about netball drills showing up. Now this, again, is a really good sign that netball drills would be a great niche because these sort of ads will be likely to show up on my site and you could imagine that if someone came to my site about netball drills, so they're looking for netball drills, and they saw this ad here, there's a high chance that they're going to click on it. Now the third criteria that we want to look for is a niche that has as little competition in the search engines as possible. So do a search in Google for your niche and take a look at the competition that's on that page. Are there pages after pages after pages of high authority sites targeting your exact niche with thousands of fans on Facebook and slick looking websites or are there just a few really crappy low quality sites on there maybe some Pinterest accounts or Facebook accounts showing up or even better are there sites that don't even have your keyword in their titles and descriptions so they're not even really going after your niche they just happen to be ranking for it if it's the latter then that's a very good sign the fewer sites there are on that first page targeting your exact niche the better also check out how many results are turning up if there's only one or two million or even better less than a million results then that's a pretty good sign but if there's hundreds of millions of results that's not such a good sign and if you search for a lot of different niche ideas eventually you will come across one where you're like hey a lot of these sites on the first page aren't even targeting my keyword and those are the niches you want to look for so if i go back to my netball drills example and then search for that in google i can see that it has less than 1 million results which is really not a lot but on top of that a lot of these sites are really low quality outdated sites that you can tell don't really know what they're doing so they're probably going to be quite easy to beat. Even better is the fact that they have this Pinterest account turning up on page one. That's not a high authority site that's trying to rank for netball drills deliberately. It's just that this niche is so low in competition that some random person's Pinterest account that happened to have some netball drills on it managed to rank on page one for it. Hell, some of these sites don't even have the actual words netball drills in the titles. All of these add up to very low competition. Furthermore, if I look at the related keywords for netball drills in the Google Keyword Planner tool and look at the competition for those keywords, the competition is low as shit. If I search for netball drills for kids, not one of them except for this site right here is actually including the words netball drills for kids in their title. So in terms of competition, netball drills drills is a great niche and it actually matches all three criteria so really take your time and play around with a lot of different ideas and niches until you really find a good niche that matches all three of these criteria you want a niche that gets a decent number of searches you want one where good ads are showing up in Google when you search for that in Google and you want a niche with low competition. Then once you've found your perfect niche, you can move on to the next step. Step two, set up a site about your chosen niche. Now, I've already got a video where I show you how to quickly and easily set up sites in under 10 minutes, which you can watch right here. So I'm not gonna go over the whole thing again in this video, but basically just head over to namecheap.com and pick yourself up a domain name, which will cost you around 10 bucks a year. So for example, I might register awesome 
netballdrills.com. Then you just want to get yourself a hosting account. I recommend hostgator.com because they're cheap at around 10 bucks a month and they're really reliable. I recommend getting the baby plan because it allows you to set up as many sites as you want on the one account. And also if you use the hostgator coupon way, way cheap when signing up for your hosting account, you can get your first month for just one cent. Then once you've got those two things, you just want to use the Fantastico feature that that comes with HostGator, which will allow you to set up a kick-ass WordPress website in a few clicks. Again, if you've never set up a website before, you can click right here to watch a video where I'll walk you through the process, but it's really not that hard. Then once your WordPress site is all set up, you just want to install a cool theme, and you also want to head over to the plugin section and search for a plugin called WordPress SEO by Yoast, and you want to install and activate that too because this plugin will help us to better optimize our blog for the search engines which I'll show you how to do in the next step. So once you've set up your site it should look roughly something like this. This is just an example I set up to target netball drills and it took me all of about 15 minutes. Step 3. Start making posts from your WordPress blog that targets your keywords. So remember the related keywords from the Google Keyword Planner that I said would need later? Well we need them now. So go back to the Keyword Planner tool and write down a list of all of these related keywords. Then once you've got your list it's time to make your first post. So pick one of these keywords to make your first post about. In this case I'm going to choose netball drills for kids. Then you want to write at least 500 words of unique content about that subject. And when I say unique content, I mean content you wrote yourself and not just some shit you've copied and pasted off another site. Google will look and they can tell if you copy and paste your content from other places and if you do it that way, they're not going to rank you well in the search engines. Sure, you can search for other articles about that topic to get information and inspiration, but rewrite your articles. Don't just copy and paste them. So here's the one I wrote about netball drills for kids. Then once you've got your text in place, you want to add a nice big image to that post that's related to your content. You can find copyright free images that you can use over at sxc.hu or really cheap ones that you can use for just a couple of bucks each over at photod.org. Finally, you'll see a section below your post area if you've installed the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin like I mentioned before where you'll be able to customize the way that that post will look in Google. So make sure that you write a kick-ass title that's not only eye-catching but that also includes your keywords in them. So here's my finished result. I now have my main site which is targeting my main keyword netball drills which gets 6,600 searches a month and I also have a post targeting the keyword netball drills for kids which gets 720 searches a month. And over time you want to actually work your way right through this list and add a post about as many of these related keywords as you can. The more posts you add, the more keywords your site will be targeting, the more stuff you'll rank for, the more traffic you'll get and the more money you'll make. Step 4. Add AdSense ads to your site. So now that we've got our first post up, our site is looking good, it's time to add some AdSense ads to our site. So just log into your Google AdSense account, which I'm assuming you already have one if you're watching this video. If you don't, you can sign up over at Google com slash adsense and then you just want to add a few ads to your site i usually just add a couple to my sidebar and then one in each post don't freak out too much about the best possible place to add them as long as they're nice and prominent then that's good you can always tweak it and play around with it later to try to improve the number of clicks you're getting now i'm not going to get exactly into how to get the code from adsense and then put them into your site because there's already a ton of tutorials and guides and stuff like that online if you don't already know how to add adsense to your wordpress sites then just do a search in google or on youtube for how to add adsense to wordpress 
WordPress and you'll find tons of tutorials. So here's what my example site looks like now that it has AdSense ads on it. And the fifth and final step is promote your site on the social networks. So now that our site is all set up, it's targeting good keywords, it's got the ads there. The only thing we need to do is to get it to rank in Google. And as you'll know, if you've seen my other videos, like my how to rank in Google video, then the way that we do this is by getting other sites to link to ours because Google looks at this and says, hey, this site must be popular if other sites are linking to them. And the easiest way to get high quality links from high value sites is by promoting your site on the social networks. I've been preaching about this for a while because it really does work. So build up a Tumblr account for your site and promote your site on there and build links on there like I show you how to do in this tutorial. Set up a Pinterest account for your site and put links on there to your site like I show you how to do in this tutorial. Share your site on Reddit like I show you how to do in this tutorial. And basically create an account on every social network that you can, build it up and post links to your site. Obviously, you can also build up links on other sites too, like forums and whatever. But the point is with these little AdSense sites, as long as they're targeting a really low competition niche, you usually only need a few decent links from social networks to get your site to rank, as I'm about to prove to you now. So here's a real life example of one of these little AdSense sites that I set up that actually does target netball drills. Now, as you can see, this is a simple WordPress site that I've installed a theme on and I've posted out six posts so far that each target a netball drills related keyword. So my homepage is targeting netball drills. This post is targeting netball fitness drills. This post is targeting netball defense drills. This post is targeting netball coaching drills. This post is targeting netball passing drills. This post is targeting netball drills for kids. And this post is targeting netball training drills. Now this site took me such little time to set up and to write this content. Like I said, it only has six pages. Furthermore, I haven't updated this site in over a year. But nevertheless, this site makes me over a hundred bucks a month every month on autopilot through AdSense. Last month, for example, this tiny little site made me exactly $110.08 in Australian dollars through AdSense, which makes it not a bad little earner for a site that only took me a day or two to set up. And the reason this site is making money is quite simply because this niche is so low in competition. For example, for the main keyword, which is netball drills, I'm ranking on the first page of Google and many of these other sites aren't even targeting netball drills. I'm also ranking for a lot of these related keywords that I've targeted on these pages. But what's probably most impressive is how few links I've actually built to this site to get it to rank and to get it to make autopilot income through AdSense. In fact, I have literally only built links from six different sites and they're all social networks. They are Pinterest.com, Tumblr.com, Twitter.com, WeHeartIt.com, TheFancy.com, and Reddit.com. And that's literally it. There's no magic tricks going on here, just that. But because they're such low competition keywords, and because I built high quality links, it works. And if I really wanted to, I could build this thing way up as well and get it making a lot more money. There are tons more netball related keywords that I could target. I could build even more links and improve the rankings even more as well too. But I simply just don't have the time to do that because I'm too busy working on other projects, which is why I haven't updated it in over a year and which is why I don't mind sharing it with you guys, even though I know that now 100 people are gonna go out and build netball drill sites. I actually have heaps of little AdSense sites just like this one, all set up making me autopilot income every month 
I've got sites like getbaseballdrills.com, topvolleyballdrills.com, mentalismzone.com, and dozens of others. And all of them make me autopilot income through AdSense each and every month using the exact five step strategy that I've just laid out for you. And that's really all there is to it. This is a fantastic way, especially for newbies, to start making your first few hundred dollars a month online. Or if you put in enough time and effort, your first few thousand dollars a month online. Now, if you're thinking that this all sounds pretty cool, but you really are totally new to this stuff, so you need me to fill in a few more blanks, then you can click here to get my free crash course for newbies. In it, I show you exactly step by step how I build up profitable niche sites and how you can do it too. Or if you already know the basics, but you want something a little bit more advanced, then you can click here to check out how I'm using social profiles to dominate the search engines for even extremely competitive keywords. I guarantee it's like nothing you've ever seen before. It takes the hard work out of SEO by getting other people to do the link building for you. Anyway, that's all from me today. Don't forget, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel right here for more no hype, no BS videos about how money is really made online. Until next time, peace out and stay awesome.